your mind right. It's our coaching staff up there in the Steeler Nation. Um, I think I think some of the coaching staff is like we're hired on just because of people that were known, you know, or a family member, or certain, because there's there's a certain like okay, let me get right to it. Offensive, the offensive coordinator. I think I think he's doing a terrible job. I think he was hired on a whim from because he knew, it's somebody that Mike Tomlin knew, personal close friend, and I, I just think. So, we could be doing better there. I don't think it's necessary. I hear everybody saying it's this player, it's that player. I mean, we got we got good players. I, I really believe right now, even though we're in a, a, a rebuilding situation, we got the players. It's just the coaches that we the, the coaching that we need to get it together. You got to get I mean, them I, boys together. You know what I'm saying I agree. We have a bad offensive coordinator. And I, I'm not even know if I can necessarily say he's bad, but nah, he's bad. Like, <laughs> I mean, to it was crazy because during that game the other night, right? They caught the defense that was playing against our offense, right? So we got a, a decent run. The run was like nine yards, right? Mm. And the camera and the the uh, microphone on the camera caught one of the play, and, and I heard it right away. One of the players say from the other team, "Come on, dog! They running the same thing every time." Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you can hear it, and I heard it right away, and I'm like, "Damn!" Because that's what everybody keeps saying. Uh, like they're it's so predictable. It's so, you know uh, what they're doing? They're doing the same thing every time, and then like. ESPN played it. Right. People picked up on it and played it. Like, it, you know. It is true. It, it, yeah, it is you know true. what I'm saying? So, he is he is killing us. But I, I do say, like, we have one of the highest paid defenses in the league. And, and mm -hmm. sometimes they come up short. When, 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 I mean, recently they've been playing very well. I'll give them that. Because, you know what I mean? Like, you know, we play calm. We talked about that, but right. Sometimes some some of them guys over there got to make a play, man. And all, we already know what the offense quarter is about, so we know the offense is deficient. But when you when you are paying top dollar for the defense, like I said, they they have one of the highest payrolls in the league on their defense. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, you expect them to play in and out in a close game. They they have to come up with a stop. Recently, the last couple games, they they have, you know, what I mean, they, right. they're, but you know, they they gave up some <clears throat> big big points. As far as the defense is concerned, I think <clears throat> some of our players on there are very injury prone. It just seems like it's the same players that are getting injured, right? For whatever cause it may be, it's, it's the same players, and they're big players, right? You know, players that make a difference like, on that field, players that right? Cause I, I would say like this, I I can, from from what I do follow football, like I wasn't really expecting to hear this from you gentlemen because from from like the the things that I've heard prior that Steelers are not going to be doing good this year. We're rebuilding. You, you understand what I'm saying, and and it's gonna be what's gonna be. We're oh, probably, I'm, I'm we're probably gonna be right. the, 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 uh, of six and sixteen. What, uh, you know, we're right. probably gonna be a little bit under fifty percent. You know right. what I'm saying? But give us two or three years, well, we're gonna be back to, to the thing. But this is the you, thing. you guys are giving me a more insight, saying it's coaching and everything. Like well, that. no, this is this is this is what it is, though, Smoke. Like. We understand, like it is, like it is kind of a rebuild year, mm -hmm. but when you watch them, they compete. Like they're they're good enough to win these games, and then that, like you said, the lack of coaching on the offensive side of the ball seems seems to be a problem. So you're saying basically they're kind of underachieving from from the talent they have. They could probably be coached to be like, even though you're rebuilding, it's like. You can make lemonade out of these it's, guys. It's, it's, we can't go four and out. I, I mean, I'm, you can't keep going four and out. It's, keeping a, that it's defense a joke on with the, me. On the, on it's an inside joke, but it's the truth. I'm like, Steelers got good scouting. They can get somebody from DeVry, and they'll end up being the best middle linebacker in the damn league. It could be. So it's uh, like, 
it's one of them things, man, and, and people what people don't understand, and and it's crazy because you can see the maturation, and I you can look at it and tell that you know I, I feel like Kenny Pickett's gonna be a good quarterback. You can just see he has command it's of the offense. There. You can you can see he's a leader. There. You know what I mean? Um, but we were spoiled, man. You know what I mean? We went, we had. 15, 16 years with a yeah. with a Hall of Fame quarterback. So deficiencies was always cleaned up. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like now you're coming in with a rookie quarterback in a different scenario. Like when, when Ben was a rookie, he was he he won, around. He won every game when yeah. he came off the bench his, yeah, his yeah, first yeah. year. That's yeah. what I mean. But Straight but with from a, college. Yeah, Ellie was on the winning. He was on a winning streak from college. Yeah, but what I'm saying is when he came in, there wasn't no question about the defense. They had the number one defense in the That's league. That's like Greg yeah. Lloyd and all the yes. guys are still there. They had, they had a fucking top-notch offensive line. Right. They had Hines Ward. They had Bettis. You know what I mean? So he, yeah. he just came onto a team that was already – a playoff team. They, now they just, just need a quarterback, a quarterback that can. Like Tommy Maddox was. Yeah, he was. A, you know what I mean? He, he wasn't one, even one game he'll be big, but you know he's gonna make that big mistake. Yeah. And Ben, Ben turned to be that guy that he came in and took yes. over the team and became the leader yes. of the team. And, and, and then he missing, did that for for you guys fifteen are years. Your yeah, baby. Get your mind right.